135 or 121? What's the best course of joining the airlines? Answering your questions on this Aeronautic Explainer, coming up. Hey aviators and air nerds, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Ty Jones. Uh, this video actually started with me giving honest reviews, experiences, training tips that will help you aviate, navigate, and communicate. And I'm still doing that today. Um, this video is actually going to be a response to your questions in this aeronautic explainer um, from my joining airlines and what to expect video. That video has gotten a lot of views and a lot of questions, and I'm here today to answer those questions for you today. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First question is from Sir Galilot88 from Kingston, Jamaica. Question, if presented with two options, option A, defer all training for maybe a year or two, work at a job that would be best for you financially to one day pay for all your flight training or option B, stay working more intensely locally, paying for training as you go, part 61, and wish yourself best of luck. LOL. To answer your question, I honestly would go with option B because if you go to option A and you work, let's say you find out that you're training for your objective, uh, the whether if you want to be an airline pilot or if you want to be a, a, a sky driver or just a regular commercial pilot, corporate airlines, you find at that price and let's say it's like 80000 or hundred thousand, hundred twenty thousand. One year or two years from now, you finally get that eighty thousand or a hundred thousand or hundred twenty thousand. Uh, now you find out that the price has went up another twenty thousand. You're always going to be chasing the cost of your education for aviation to reach your goal to be the whatever kind of pilot that you want to be. So I would definitely go with option B. Also, consider supporting the channel by becoming a Patreon supporter. Visit Patreon slash Ariner to show your support. All supporters get the same supporter content you decide what you want to give. Thank you so much to those who are already supporting. You are the reason why these videos exist. You are Jedi-tastic. Next we have VFR on top 89. Uh, I don't know where you're from, but... Uh, and, and another thing too, if you want me to give you a shout out, just let me know where you're from in the comments when you do ask these questions so I can say where you're from on these aeronautic explainers. But moving on, VFR on top 89 asks, Love the video, brother. Would you prefer one over the other, 135 or 121? I liked 135 more because it was a little bit more relaxed. Uh, you had a little bit more freedom as far as where, what you wanted to do with your flight plan. You had to go from point A to point B. What altitude are you going to fly? Uh, what are you going to fly direct? Um, what airspeed are you going to fly? Yada, yada, yada. 121, this is all given to you, and then you have to fly this specific altitude, this specific route, this specific cost index. Uh, so, one, 121 is a little bit more strict, a li little bit more formal, I guess, if you will. 135 is a little bit more relaxed. For example, you show up, you show up at your jet, you do your pre-flight, uh, you will have to load the passenger's bags. 121, you, you do your pre-flight, and then the flight attendants do all that for you. So, you just get in the flight deck and you do your your uh, your pre-flights and then you 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 fly your route you land yeah parking brake set you do your your post walk around and then you're done for the day or you're done or you're getting ready for your next flight corporate it's the days could be a little bit longer but you're going to be flying to a little bit more remote airports if you will for example um i don't think an airline or a 121 will go into like key largo or some of these uh some of these really small landing strips in the Bahamas. Airlines are a little bit more professional, in my opinion. You have your benefits, you have your medical, you have 401k, you have retirement plans, you have all these benefits of a full-time job. Corporate jobs do have that same thing. However, it, it could be hit or miss uh, depending on what corporate job, uh, corporate company that you work for. If you go to something like NetJets, I think they're more like a 121 base, the way how they do their operations and everything like that. I believe you, I believe they send you to uh, flight safety to do your training and all your all your recurrence, and then you get back on the line, and it's literally like a 121 uh, with NetJets. Um, so these corporate schedules can be like seven on, six off. Some can be four on, three off. Some can be two weeks on, seven off. So it all depends. Um, what I would do is I would just research whatever company, corporate company you're trying to get into. Um, there's plenty of information online. Just do your research. Another thing I forgot to mention about the corporate world is 
let's say you are you have your own private jet and you want to make money off of your private jet so what you'll end up doing is you may lease your private jet to a business uh, what that business will do is they will charter your private jet for you it's kind of like how some of these corporate uh, corporate companies work they'll get they'll hire pilots for your jet obviously they'll go through you like hey this pilot has so many man hours this has this pilot has this much experience would you like to hire this pilot or these many pilots for your aircraft and if you do we we can use your aircraft for so many many of flights per per month or per per week and of course if you agree yay then you make money you have your jet you have your company man managing your jet and you have your pilots one of your pilots is sick now what do you do well there is a way that this company can actually reach out to other pilots that are that already have uh, type ratings for the jet that you have for, for your private jet so what they'll do is they'll reach out to these uh, to these other pilots there's like there's like a whole pool of pilots that they can reach out from and ask like hey we're, we're needing a pilot next week from the from this state to this state we're flying from here to here to here are you would you be able to do that we will pay you you know fifteen hundred dollars per day or two thousand per day depending on what your type rating is in your experience of course that pilot will say okay yeah sure I'll do that then the process starts from there sometimes it's up to the pilot to get to the jet and then being reimbursed when the trip is over or sometimes the companies will be proactive and actually pay for the pilot to come out there on top of paying their their fee their daily fee which may be 1500 or 2000 like i was saying earlier so the pool that these companies pull these pilots out from what is this pool and how you and how do you be become part of it if you have a type rating and if you're thinking about going the corporate world there's many pools out there one of which is one that i use many times flight cruise unlimited if you go to this website flight cruise unlimited um, which is right here and there's another one um, that i'm about to show you here in a minute but here you can sign up you can put in your hours in here and what they will essentially do is once you put your information in here they will call you uh, if they have any availabilities let's say you have you know a uh, golf stream uh, a type or something like that or a citation uh, global then they can potentially you can get potentially get a call and be like hey uh, we have a trip for you would you like to fly and we'll pay you so many amount of money and and some pilots actually make them make a living just off of this I mean you gotta think I mean let's say you have a have a four-day trip for uh, you know two thousand two thousand dollars an hour or, I'm sorry two thousand dollars a day that's eight grand right there that you did that you didn't made already so uh, another one that is Crew Blast. Crew Blast is another one. This one's a little bit more easier. This is an app that you actually download on your phone, and they literally just text you. And then you read the text and said, "Hey, we have a trip for you for this and that, or would you be able to take this for this much for, for this rate?" And of course, you can either hit accept or decline right there on your phone. So this is another really good app to have if you're thinking about going into the corporate world it's super easy to register you just register you submit them your your medical your flight hours uh, and that's literally it there's hardly an interview at all for this uh, the, all the interview is is they will they will text you say hey are you available can you fly on this day to that day yes okay cool you're hired that's literally <laughs> the extent of the interview so yeah check out crew blast and flight cruise unlimited that's a um, very good resource to check out and there's a lots more too but these are the two that i've used personally so check them out next question sky flight 28393 don't know where they're from but they ask hi is it easy to move from part 135 to 121 airlines some say if anyone starts their career from part 135 it is really hard to go to part 121 airlines uh, I really don't think that's the truth. Um, actually, 121 will actually be glad to pick up if you have 135 experience. That means you have jet time. Most likely, you have jet turbine time. <clears throat> Even if you're flying like wheels up, uh, uh, flying uh, King Airs, you have uh, turbine time, and they'll actually uh, accept that. Uh, they, you'll be a better candidate if you already have previous any kind of jet time, and then going into airlines versus somebody that has absolutely no jet time experience and just flown from uh, like homing engines doesn't have ATP and then trying to get the, into the airlines versus you already have your ATP you already have jet times from for 135 or corporate so yes you're gonna be a way better candidate however even not to steer that away from um, 
from part 91 going straight into 121, uh, in other words, going to general aviation straight to uh, airlines, you, they will pick if if all you need is your hours, you can get a first class medical. Um, they will definitely accept you. Um, so my recommendation, if you want, if you're trying to go into the airlines, just go to the website airline apps, and I believe I'm not I'm not sure how much it is per per year. You have to pay a certain fee per year, but you you put in all your hours, and it's pretty much a hub where you put in your information, kind of like LinkedIn. You put in your information, and all of the employers will be able to look at your information and then go from there. For example, I want to work at Delta, or I want to work at PSA, or I want to work at uh, Air Whiskey. You you put in all your hours in there, and then you can put on there, hey, I want to work for this airline. Well, that will notify them, and then they will go and actually look at your profile on airlineapps.com. Uh, so and then when you as you upgrade your hours you can actually update the um the your profile on airline apps it's kind of like linkedin but for airline pilots so i definitely highly recommend y you do that so to answer your question the only way i can imagine it going from imagine a person going from 121 to 135 is when they reach the retirement age which is 65. once you reach 65 in the airline world you're going to be pretty much forced to retirement unless they extended up to 67 from what I'm hearing they're trying to do as of right now I believe it's still 65 so once you reach 65 then you normally go to uh, corporate or for those who really like flying that much uh, they'll normally go to corporate hopefully that answers your question next question all about auto 31 from New York City hey I just started my private pilot training and I had a slight question I know New York City is a super busy airspace in a bunch of massive airports from your experience in regional or others, do you think there is a good chance of getting New York City based like JFK or LaGuardia, or do they give a low seniority to FOs to similar bases with less traffic? To answer your question, what I would do, I did mention about this website, and I'll go on here right now, uh, airlinepilotcentral.com. So if you go on here, you can go to regionals, right over here, and I believe Endeavor um, has a junior base for LaGuardia. So if I go here to Endeavor Air and you scroll down to domiciles, you see right here they got New York City, they got LaGuardia, JFK, and more importantly, if you go down here, junior bases. Junior bases, New York City, JFK, and LaGuardia, and Cincinnati currently have new hire, currently new hire pilots have the possibility of being based here or Cincinnati. So uh, to answer your question, just look on here. I can't stress this enough. Um, Airline Pilot Central, there's so much. There's a plethora of, of great um, knowledge there to go find out that information. So, yes, if you're wanting to go to you know, those bases, definitely, I would definitely consider Endeavor. Um, and as far as them trying to say, well, you're just a junior FO, you don't have, you don't have that much experience, so we're going to put you in a less busy airspace. That is absolutely not the case. Um, I know there's some bases that your first base will be DCA or Philly or Charlotte. I mean, these are some pretty busy, busy, um, busy airspaces. And never, case in point, uh, their junior bases is LaGuardia, uh, JFK, Airline Pilot Central. Check that website out. Miss Mister Six String Two K from New Jersey asks, "How did you find your way to corporate? What requirements do they have?" I am 45, and he asked another. This is a, on another video. He asked, uh, "I am 45, working for working on my IFR, and corporate is the only real landing spot for me. I would love to hear f more about corporate." Welcome, at, welcome back to the IFR videos. Would be, oh, the IFR videos would be so appreciated. How did I get to corporate? I just went online and I just applied. <laughs> so I mean, it's as easy as that. Um, go to the airline airlineapps.com um, and put in your hours and just. You know, there, like I said, there's so much information out there that you can that you can um, uh, that you can use, and there's lots of resources that you can highly take advantage of. So definitely take advantage of all those resources. I can't stress enough: Airline Pilot Central and uh, AirlineApplications.com. Want to find out how to be a better pilot? Visit my YouTube channel, and then go to playlists, and then you can see all of my playlists right down here. We can go to Air Nerds Flight Training. There's an instrument ground school. You can go to full playlist right here. There's plenty of videos. If you have any questions about anything, this is the same exact training that I used to give to my pilots. Also, you can go to the Air Nerds Flight Training in the view playlist, and there is a whole plethora of really 
great information so go ahead and check it out video world 1951 um, don't know where you're from but they ask is army a better option than flight school well I'll tell you what I'm I'm retired Air Force myself and I will say that if you have prior flight experience in the military in general not just army or Navy or Air Force if you have prior prior jet time experience um, or any kind of flight time experience in the military you're gonna be a way better candidate than probably somebody that has a lot more hours <laughs> I guess um, they really like military pilots so uh, yes I, if you have the chance to I would definitely do arming even if you're flying helicopters you have flight experience so experience is better than no experience when it comes to jet time and stuff like that so um, I would definitely if you're thinking about going to army go army uh, I, I don't know what the enlistment is now is it two years now four years now do whatever uh, enlistment you have um, I definitely recommend it uh, if I could do it again I would do it over and over again um, I loved my time in the military so definitely definitely do go to the go toward the, the mil military route and on top of that all your flight training is gonna be paid for by the government so <laughs> or by us taxpayers so anyway okay and this last question from NQ Mitch um, I do not know where NK Mitch is from but they ask just subs thank you for this video I am an inspiring airline pilot 26 years old and african-american I am currently looking for grants and scholarships for african-americans like myself looking to join the aviation industry in your next video could you maybe talk about some programs that somebody like me could benefit from well I, I will say about the like the Af african-american part uh, I'm not sure I'm, I know you mentioned it twice in here but at it this is the world where I mean if you're african-american if you're asian-american if you're chinese-american russian-american I mean it doesn't there's benefits I mean there's there's programs out there for every single person if you are if you are interested in joining the aviation industry you're gonna join the aviation industry no matter what color you are wherever where you're from um, if you're you know if you're male female it, it doesn't matter I mean so don't let that be a limiting factor or d actually don't even consider that to be a factor at all um, the one thing I mean we're now in a day and age where you know I mean you can be anybody and do anything you literally have the power to move mountains out of your way to get what you want literally if you want it it's up to you to go get it um, and where you're from or, or anything like that has nothing to do with how you're gonna get there uh, if, if that hopefully that that makes sense I'm probably gonna watch this later and be like man I should have said it this way but anyway um, yeah 26 years old you're definitely young enough um, I actually started airlines when I was uh, above my 40s and I'm 42 now and I'm still you know I still got another 20 something years to go for me so I don't know for those who think they're too old to uh, to try to start this as their next career or to even make this consider it being in the airlines as a career don't let the age uh, stop you unless you're maybe like you know six or something like that okay yeah maybe try to go corporate but uh, to answer your questions yes there's many uh, there's many programs out there um, maybe grants scholarships I mean just I would just say research Google it um, as far as scholarships though I think scholarships is more maybe folks that are like right out of high school I think um, or maybe right out of college um, I could probably look into that I'm, I'm not really too sure on like the scholarships or the grants um, I am retired Air Force so I actually use my GI Bill to get a lot of my uh, to get a lot of my training and then after that I just used uh, student loans for that um, so that's that's my uh, that's my two cents on that but yeah don't don't let where you're from or anything like that be any kind of uh, a detrimental factor or any kind of any kind of factor at all um, it's not it's not a thing um, yeah just just go for it and um, and uh, next thing you know you'll be flying a jet or flying a cargo or flying corporate or flying a spaceship or who knows it's up to you what you want to do and I'd recommend you just go up there and just just do it thanks again for the questions comments comment more below if you don't comment I can't give you any good information for free I'm Ty Jones it's time to fly